a tool called the wheel and this tool will allow us to create our own backdoors and use them to open sessions hack into the Windows machines okay so in order to do that I'm going to go and open my Firefox and we're going to find the wheel github page so let me show you how to do that just google wheel framework and it's spelled as v-e-i-l as you can see the first result that we got is the github page so github actually provides us a space in order to upload our codes upload our tools and let other people interact with them so here you will see some options like wheel wheel evasion and everything and you have to click on wheel itself because it already consists the other evasion and ordinance tools as well so if you scroll down a little bit you will see the instructions of the wheel tool actually but don't worry about it I'm going to show you how to install it on your Kali machine so here we have two options right now maybe when you see this when you go to this page you will have more than one or two options but right now you can just download it by running apt install wheel or you can download it manually using git and I'm going to show you the hard way so that you can learn how to do that so open a new terminal in here and try to go cd opt okay so first you may have to run cd dot dot and then ls and then when you see opt you can just go to cd opt so this opt folder actually stands for optional and we generally install the optional softwares optional tools inside of this folder it's not mandatory but you can just follow this guidance okay so this is general convention and you have to copy this okay and paste it in here to install git on your computer so this is right now actually not installing wheel itself but it's installing the git so github uses git and git is actually a version control tool when you try to write when you try to code softwares and this is like a checkpoint save point that you use in your games for example it enables you to save some codes and then come back later on if it's needed so right now we're downloading that git system in our computer because you will come across a lot of tools that has a github page that has been uploaded to the github so you can use this technique in order to download other tools in your linux as well so you should install git anyway but because not a lot of tools have actually this repository where you can simply say apt get install wheel or apt install wheel but rather you will have to do it manually like we are doing right now so it may take some time because git is actually a big system a big framework but um, not too much it will be over within a couple of minutes and after that using that git system you can just clone you can just download any tool you want from github so right now I'm done and I went to the second command which is git clone so if you do git clone and then paste the github page okay it will just download all the codes all the files folders in your computer if I say ls I will see wheel now I'm going inside of wheel and say ls I can see the files and folders and it says me to go inside of wheel and try to find this setup.sh when you find the setup.sh you may 
just run this config setup.sh command that is given to you within this real github page. Once you do that, as you can see, it starts to install Veal on your Kali Linux. And Veal has a lot of libraries, a lot of codes built inside because it enables, it provides us to tools that we're going to need in order to create backdoors. And we're not going to have a single option for a backdoor. We're going to have a lot of options for example, we're going to be able to create backdoors with Python, with C, with C++, with Go, so different languages, okay? And we're going to have different setups for that different languages as well. So we're going to create, we're going to test, if it doesn't work, we're going to switch to another. So maybe you can come across this wine installation and a lot of other software installation during the process if it asks you for anything you may say yes and click next next install and it will complete within like 10 or 15 minutes so it's a big tool and we're going to see how to work with all options that are going to be supplied for us so now it's done if I say ls, I will see this wheel.py file. So this is a Python file actually, and we're going to run this Python file with python tree wheel.py command. And once you see that screen wheel framework so that we can create our own backdoors in a way that we want. As you can see, we have two tools loaded. We're going to see what are they and we have available comments in here. So let me make this a little bit bigger. So you can see the available comments. Either you exit or you just run info to get help or you can use list to list available tools. Later on you can say use or update. So I suggest you run update comment regularly in order to get the latest updates because this creates backdoors and antivirus solutions actually update themselves every day in order to block these backdoors and will also updates regularly in order to be able to create backdoors that bypasses antivirus solutions okay so this is an ongoing process daily so i suggest you run update now and then in order to have a fully updated wheel version and we're going to see how to bypass antivirus solutions don't worry about it but for right now um, as you can see i'm in the version 314 maybe you will be in like 34 it doesn't matter all you have to do is just run update and then run list so as you can see, we have two tools available. One is evasion and the other one is ordinance. We're going to focus on evasion. So we're going to create backdoors within evasion. And the other thing is the ordinance in which we can create the payloads. And evasion uses those payloads in order to create backdoors, okay? So if you're not going to deal with payloads, deal with codes, you're going to focus on evasion. If you want to use a tool during the wheel process, all you have to do is just say use and then the tool number. So all the available tools are numbered in the wheel. Okay, not only in the screen, but also other screen as well. So I said one and hit enter and it took me back here because I should have said use one, okay? So as you can see, we are now in a different screen. It says that 41 payloads loaded. So we have 41 different ways of creating backdoors right now. And as you can see, we have other options right now like back or 
check virus total against generated hashes and we can say clean or exit and other stuff as well so if you want to see the list all you have to do is just say list and here we have different options for creating backdoors so let me make this one a little bit bigger so that I can take you through this list so if you scroll up a little bit then you can see the different options and here is the explanation for that the first part of these options represent the programming language of the backdoor that is going to be created when we choose it okay so this one for example is going to be written by Ruby and this is Python this is go and you can try and choose your own backdoor and test it if it doesn't work you should choose another one and the second thing is the session type that we're going to be using so this one has a meterpreter session for example and as I explained before this session will allow us to interact with the victim machine so meterpreter is actually the most advanced session that you can get so I believe you have to choose it and the third part is the connection type so we have two options in here one is bind and the other one is reverse so reverse starts the connection from the victim machine to the Kali machine and bind actually starts the connection from Kali machine to the victim machine and it's always safer to work with reverse connections because it's going to be harder for victim machine to detect something is going on so we're going to test one we're going to create our backdoor and test to see if we can get a session back from the victim machine and I suggest you do the same on your computer maybe with a different version different setup different backdoor